this video, we're going to be talking about generics. No, we're not talking about Costco's Kirkland brand. We're talking about TypeScript generics. So what are generics? Well, generics and TypeScript allow us to use reusable code components. And this allows us to work with more than kind of a single type. So how do we know when we might want to use uh, a generic? So we might want to use it uh, in either a function or a class or whatever, if we're using a variety of different data types. So that's the first question you want to ask yourself is, do we need a variety of different data types to be passed in here? And then secondly, uh, will this function or this class um, be used in more than one place? All right, so let's just code up a few examples here. A lot of these will come straight from the TypeScript docs, which I'll link in the description and they are pretty good. So check them out. So let's say we have a function and it takes an arg and that's gonna be a number. And then we might return a number just like this. And then down here, we're gonna return this argument just like this. So this is typically how we might type this function. We'll pass in an argument, say it's gonna be of type number. We're gonna return number and then return, uh, the, or we're gonna show that we're gonna return a number and then actually return this argument like this. So this is typically how we might wanna do it. But what if we didn't know if we wanted to uh, pass in a number here? Maybe say we wanted to pass in a string or something like that. Well, this is where generics come into play. So uh, let's, get rid of this right now. Actually, let's copy it down. And then instead of this, another way we might be doing this is to say any. So the any type you might know of, but this is basically gonna remove all of our type safety. This is just gonna say that this argument can be of any type. So basically what's the point of using TypeScript in the first place? Now, a way to get around this again is with our generics. So let's check out what a generic might look like. So again, we'll just copy this down real quick. So for this one, let's look at adding this uh, as a generic. So a generic is gonna be like this in angle brackets. And then this is where you put in your generic. I'm gonna say T for this, but this T is not special. So this could be anything you like. In the TypeScript uh, documentation, I saw that they're using type like this. So maybe go ahead and do that if you like but uh, you're gonna see T in a lot of different code repositories. So that is what I'll be using uh, here. But again, it can be anything. So instead of any, uh, both of these, we're just gonna change to uh, T here like this. And then this is gonna be our generic. So again, you don't actually need to return this if you want uh, most of the time. Generally, uh, it'll infer what the type is, but if you wanna be more explicit with it, then you can uh, type it like this. So this T here is known as a type variable and it works on uh, types rather than values. So this T allows us to capture the type that the user is gonna provide. So whether that's a number, a string or whatever uh, we want. So now let's actually put this to use. So say we come down here. All right, so let's actually put this to use here. So let's call this. So we'll just say let output like this and that's gonna equal identity like this. And then if we wanted to be explicit about this, we could say we're gonna return a string like this. And again, the angle brackets are how you use that. And then we can pass in the actual argument here. So we'll say my uh, name here, just like that. And you see all this works and that is great. Again, if we wanted to do this, um, this is explicitly doing this. If we wanted to do this implicitly, we can get rid of this here and TypeScript will infer uh, that this is gonna be a string. Now, in uh, maybe a more complex uh, scenario, you might have to explicitly say that. So just keep that in mind. So let's go back to this. So now we have this uh, T is represented by a string here, but say we wanted to pass in uh, a number. So we can come down here and let's copy this down and we'll get rid of uh, this up here for now. And say we wanted to represent this as a number. So we just go like this number and instead of this, we had actually have to pass in, actually, let's take a look at that right there. So you can see we passed in as a number and now string is not assignable to a parameter type number. So we have to actually pass this in as a number. So say uh, 45 there. Okay, so now you can see that we can either pass in this as a number or a string, and that is gonna be passed up to our generic right here. All right, so that's good. Let's get rid of this for now. And then let's look back at this identity here. Now, 
another issue we might run into where you have to give uh, TypeScript a little more information. So let's come over here and say we wanted to add uh, a console.log here and we wanted to say arg.length. Now you can see we automatically get this squiggly line. It says property length does not exist on type T here. So because we're passing in just a single type, it doesn't have a length property because this would just be a number or uh, a string or something. So in order to get around this, we have to add a little more information and tell this that this argument is going to be of uh, an array type. So an array of whatever we pass in. So like this, and then we're going to return an array of this generic type, whatever it is, number or string or whatever we're passing in. And then you can see when we do that, this uh, length property is now available to us there. All right, so where else might we be using these uh, generics? So how about interfaces? So let's uh, copy this right here or get rid of it right here and let's come down. And in here, let's add a generic interface. So this is gonna be our generic interface right now. And now let's come in here to our identity up here and we'll just uh, copy this down and bring it down a bit. Okay, and then we'll use this here. So let's uh, let's actually go back here so we're not uh, doing an array and get rid of this. So now let's call this function and pass in this generic identity. All right, so we're creating a variable my identity and then we're adding this generic identity to it. And then you see here, it's we know it's gonna take an argument. So we're gonna pass in that argument with uh, number, but again, this could be string whatever we wanted to pass in and it still works. And then we have to set that equal to this identity here for the function that we want to use it in. So that is one way you could use them for interfaces. All right, so now let's add uh, a different use case here. So let's come down here. So we can actually use these to create uh, multiple different types as well um, without having to reuse a whole bunch of code. So let's uh, add another interface like this and we'll call it identity like that and we'll pass in T. And then let's say we have a few properties here. So let's say ID and that's gonna be a string. Uh, let's say it's gonna have a color for identity, that'll be a string. And then we will say uh, info. And this is where we're gonna use our uh, generic type. So we can just pass this T in from up here. So whatever we pass in through this identity up here is gonna be used right here, whether that's a number, a string, or any other type. Now, if we want to create some new types here, we can use this interface. So let's say type, and we'll say text info like this, and that's equal to identity like that. And let's pass in, say, a string. Oh, that's not spelled right. Let's pass in a string like that. All right, so now this text info is gonna get both this color and ID, both as strings, and now it's gonna pass in this string, which is gonna be equal to this info here. So now info in this case will be of type T, which is string. So info will be string. Now, say we wanted to do this again, and we call this uh, something else, let's say uh, num like this so now we have type num info and they have the same identity but now we want to pass in a number so again this is going to have color this is going to have id with it um, but it's also going to have a number for this info of uh, this t generic type right there so this number would go in right here so basically that's how it's going to work with uh, generics. There's a ton more information. I'd suggest go and checking out the docs and everything, but hopefully that's a good intro to the topic. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.